Hey guys, what's up? This is Shubhadeep from eGadgets for you. And in this video, we will do a full camera review of the Lee Eco Le 2 that I have over here. As you can see, this particular handset sports a 16 megapixel shooter at the back. It has a focal length of f2.0. It has face detection, autofocus, dual LED flash. For the front camera, it sports a 8 megapixel shooter with focal aperture of f2.2. It supports video recording at 720p at 120 frame per second and 1080p at 30 frame per second. It also supports a video recording of 2160p at 30 frame per second. The video wise, the figures are superb. Let me just give you the experience of the interface of camera in the Lee Eco Le 2 handset. Over here you find the settings. With the settings you get the option to toggle with the timers, voice control, shutter sound, store locations, exposure values, picture size, white balance and ISO mode. You have the flash on, off and the auto mode to be adjusted from here. The front camera and the back camera is adjusted via this particular icon. Moving ahead you can take picture of a device by using the tap to focus option. You just tap over here and you click the picture. It takes pictures at a great speed. Now let me guide you through some of the pictures that I have taken using the back camera and the front camera of the Lee Eco Le 2. In this particular object there was ample source of light and you can see that the, that the picture came out bright and perfect. Shooting with the back camera in outdoor conditions is a pure delight. As you can see quite evident in this particular picture that all the objects turned out bright. There is no complaint whatsoever. In good source of light and taking wonderful pictures the camera does not disappoint. Using flash in good source of light also works wonder in the, with the auto mode as is quite evident from this particular picture. Again shooting in outdoor conditions is a pure delight. Each and every minute objects are quite nicely depicted in each of the pictures. The tap to focus works to a great deal. The pictures come out bright and perfect. No complaints whatsoever. The quality of the picture falls to a great extent in artificial lighting or low light conditions. As you can see in this particular picture, the brightness level has gone down to a great deal. It is quite evident in this particular picture also. Although the tap to focus works great, but still the overall brightness or the value of this particular image did not come out great. Similar for this particular object also. The complaint remains in low light or indoor condition shooting. But then again considering the price that this particular handset comes along with, it's nothing to complain that much. The front camera is a pure delight. I was quite amazed with the 8 megapixel shooter over here as because it shoots amazing bright pictures I must say. But again, there must be a little bit of complaint as a natural effect of a picture is affected. But then also, selfies are the trend of the day and pictures comes out perfect with the front camera of 8 megapixel shooter. Hey guys, you are watching this video from the back camera of Lee Go Le 2. Now, uh, my wife over here is helping me shooting this video. I'm just shooting this video to give you an idea that how the back camera of this particular handset is working. Uh, as you can see, I'm driving now. There is some disturbance in the road, although it's a smooth road over there. And there is a bit of traffic. Let's see how the image stabilization works in this particular camera. I guess it helps you guys to making the decision over here. Um, stay tuned, I'll just shoot another video with the front camera soon. Hey guys, this video is shot from the front camera of Lee Cole 2. And I guess this video helps in making your decision for the potential buyers of this particular handset. I'll just walk through and give you an idea that how the stabilizer, image stabilizations and stuff work over there. I guess there will be no lag whatsoever but still it remains to be find out and end of the day it's your decision to be made that whether you want to buy this particular handset or not. I hope this helps. That's it guys. Hope this video helps for the full camera review of the Lee Eco Lay 2 handset. My overall view of this particular handset is that the price of 12,000 INR does justice with the camera quality. It has improved a lot from its previous version of the Lay 1. But then again, it's my opinion. Do let me know your views in it and your opinion in the comment section below. Stay subscribed to my channel. I'll catch you guys in my next video very very soon. That's it guys. Bye for now.